Now we're coming into kind of an intersection of the past. Could it have been lively? Did families meet? Perhaps over there? See what I mean? Uh, explore down this way. That's how they've attempted to shore up this building with just pieces of wood. A woman doing her laundry. I noticed when I was near the creek that the water was very clear. I doubt that it's pure, but it's probably clean for laundry. This has been terraced before, used for corn below, and a variety of crops, including some onions there. This would have been where the great houses were, I think, the people that were important, just from the looks of the entryways. How old are these foundations? Did those men have them built? when they became successful? Did that man down there one-up his neighbors by building higher? So we continue our walk. And we come to this intersection. This building with its circular windows, I guess. I think this is the more fluid script also. There surely is a temple. We're getting down into what looks like a more commercial area. Although I think it's Sunday, I'm not sure. Was that destroyed at the time of the Cultural Revolution? Surely it was a lion. Here is cement laundry uh, trough instead of the river. Kind of a pretty vase that's no longer used. It looks like the remains of a seed punch. <clears throat> This is pretty with the flower vases on either side and either dried flowers or facsimiles of flowers in there. But this is a new surface. All along here, if you look closely, I think we can see little divots where seeds have been hand planted in rows. Aren't those gorgeous colors? Whatever they are. Just sitting by their lonesome in this small plot of garden land. Just taking a walk along this pathway up in the fields somewhere or alongside them. I think rather than corn, this must be called maize because I believe maize normally only grows one ear of corn per stalk. I don't exactly know what these are. At first glance you'd think they were small um, eggplant, but they're like a cottony material inside. But on the same plant are these pretty flowers, so... They're a curious flower. They're more long than round. I wonder if this rock corner on this terrace is, was just a corner support or whether it used to be that all terraces were all aligned with rock. On the other hand, it may have served an additional function as part of the water drainage system. That makes more sense. On a time in its heyday, this town's wall uh, mud in the center, but lined on either side with brick it was probably substantial and looks good. Now it's just totally deteriorated. I walked a long ways away from the tower out into the farmlands and then climbed up on top again. And here, the first thing I see that I recognize down along this road that I'm following back to town is that pagoda. So I hiked there where that man is walking all along there, somewhere out in that direction quite a little ways and then followed the trail up through the terraces up onto the top again and then back down this road which leads me back into town I 
Things like these folks are afraid of somebody also. It's not really that terribly interesting a town. It's just very old. I guess it's kind of that charisma place thing. A couple of obishis. I'm back on the road I was on before. This is a relatively new gateway here. I remember seeing this little device. I have no idea what it is unless it's some kind of a stove, but for the unit inside perhaps. Here another well winch, for lack of a better term, and a Buddha there to either that or the god of, of that protects water supplies. There's some pretty carving. It's probably a temple entrance. Okay, apparently this is a place of importance because a tour guide just left with her little group. This might have been the kitchen of whatever this place was. Who knows for sure? I don't. Probably if I bought her English guide I would. But, but this looks like the inner courtyard of some of the movies I've seen portraying old China, like the one called The Red Lantern. And off of the main court here would be the rooms of different concubines, for example. I like that idea. What's interesting, all of these lattices seem to be totally protective, except for this one, which seems to provide an opening for the passage of something. Presumably this is how older houses were. These panels could be opened up, for example, on beautiful days like today to let air flow through. I wonder if those little petals in there our brass. Here an idea of how inner rooms would be. Again, whether those panels open up there, I don't know. The ones on the right appear to. Clever way to hold the door it's closed. Now entering another such building sounds like it's lived in smell of food i don't know if this is a another sleeping area like i have or what there's a room that shows hmm, maybe how people live there's a stone bed Probably made of brick and cement. There would have been an oven for the wintertime heater. Were they wallpapered like that? This looks like it would be a two-story home. If in fact that's what it was. Here a loom with some homemade modifications to it. I wonder if those were foot stirrups, very small holes. Imagine the hours of continuous, monotonous labor spent in that chair. And we're back in the inner courtyard. There's a grinding stone, I think. It looks like it. Yeah. And there are some other farm implements. Remains of a wagon buried over there. And then the more modern way of dying from coal smoke instead of wood smoke. Kill or walk. Apparently we pour grain in there, I guess. Don't know. This is a machine that I think acted something like a cotton gin. But for which product, I don't know. wagon there. 